Telefone. Ja. Hi, I'm Nico and welcome to my channel. I've been living in China for nearly three years now and one of the most popular questions that I get asked is how do I access social media in China? Well, if you're about to move to China or you're just coming to travel, then this video is for you. I'm sure you've all heard of the Great Firewall of China. If you haven't, then take note. Basically, it means that all the apps and websites that you love are banned here in China. So that Facebook, Instagram, Google, even YouTube. But I'm on YouTube right now and I'm also on Instagram quite a lot. So this is a pretty valid question for somebody to ask. So how do I get around it? Well, my biggest piece of advice for you if you're coming to China is get a VPN. What's a VPN you might ask? Well, a VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Wherever you are in the world, it pretends you are somewhere else. So you could be in Tokyo, LA, even Manchester, anywhere but mainland China. It's like a little magic button that you press and it unlocks your life. So in this video, I'm going to try and answer some of the questions that you might have to shed a little bit of light on VPNs. Now, one of the main questions is, do I really need a VPN? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Google, Gmail? Whew, the list goes on. If you answered yes to any of these, then yes, you need a VPN. I can't even access my email without using a VPN. If you're coming to China, then I just wouldn't risk it and get a VPN. Now, I know this sounds a little bit scary, but it's really not. Using a VPN is super easy, albeit a little bit slower at times. Not everyone in China has a VPN. A lot of my Chinese friends, they don't have VPNs because they don't need these Western apps. They haven't grown up with them, so they don't need them. They have their own Chinese social media, which of course doesn't need a VPN. But coming from the UK, I'm used to these and I want to stay in touch with my friends and my family who are also on these social media apps. So I need to get a VPN. So I just told you about some different apps that you need a VPN for. Another important one is, can I watch Netflix with a VPN? Well, if you don't have a VPN, you can't. But if you do, of course you can. And you can set it to different locations around the world and the Netflix will change. You can also watch things like HBO, BBC, Channel 4, anything that your country might have that you're missing when you're in China. So what about in other countries? Can I use a VPN in other countries apart from China? Yes, of course, you can use a VPN anywhere. I know that China isn't the only country that has some censored internet, so you can use it in other countries too. Also, the great thing is, if you've moved to another country, say you've moved to America from the UK, then you can put your VPN as UK and watch TV shows from back home. So a VPN is not just useful if you're moving to a censored country, it's useful for anywhere really. So where do you use a VPN? Can I use a VPN on my phone? Yes, you can use your VPN on your phone, on your laptop, on your iPad, tablet, whatever device you have, you can use a VPN on it. Actually, if you pay for a subscription, usually you can get five devices on one subscription. So you can hook up all of your devices and also your partners as well, which is really, really great. So an important question is, do I need to pay for a VPN? Well, you've got two options. You've got free VPNs and you've got paid VPNs. So short answer is no, you don't have to pay for a VPN. You can get a free VPN, but personally, I don't think these are quite as reliable. I would use this more as a backup and I wouldn't rely on a free VPN all the time just because yeah, it, it might not work. So I would go for a paid VPN. 
The good thing about this is if you're constantly on social media like I am, I'm always on Instagram, obviously I'm on YouTube, I need the internet and I need it to work and so I'd rather pay and reduce the risk. And the fee's not that much, it's less than $10 a month. Like I said, usually you can get five devices, so like I share this with my partner, so that's really not that much money. And also, the longer that you have the subscription for, usually the cheaper it is. So we usually go for like a year subscription and it's cheaper than if we would pay monthly. One thing I will say, whatever VPN you decide to go for, make sure you download it before you come to China. This is really important because once you get to China, you, you just can't. I mean, you, you can, it's not impossible, but it's a lot more effort. So if you're coming to move here, just make sure you get one before you come. If you do buy a new phone here in China, bear that in mind. It's harder, but you can get it on eventually anyway. So how reliable is a VPN? Well, no VPN is 100% reliable. Like I just said before, I feel like the paid VPNs are more reliable than the free ones, but even the paid ones do lose connectivity at times. Now, we're in China, so the government are always trying to block VPNs, and it usually happens a lot around public holidays, and also if there's like a big government meeting or something like this, then the VPNs are a lot harder to get onto. Bear this in mind that they might not work all the time. At times like this, then read a book or go on holiday or just be prepared to be frustrated that you can't access your VPN. Usually once this time has passed, then connectivity goes back to normal and for the rest of the year, it's fine. Is it safe to use a VPN? You might be wondering, will I get in trouble if I use a VPN in China? Well, let me put it this way. Everyone that I know uses a VPN. What I'd be more worried about is the online security. A VPN masks your IP address, which is a good thing. But if you don't use a reputable company, then maybe they could access your private information. So this is another reason why I would just get a paid VPN. So now I've given you loads of information you want to know What's the best VPN? Well, here in China, two of the most popular are ExpressVPN and Astral. Now, I've used both of these VPNs and they're both really, really good in different ways. It's more of a personal preference. I've also done a video to compare the two so you can choose for yourself. That'll be coming out in a few weeks. But in the meantime, let me cut the story short, and I personally prefer ExpressVPN. I've used it since day one, and it's just my personal preference. I've got a link below for ExpressVPN, so if you decide that's the VPN for you, then use my link, and you also get three months free if you sign up for a 12-month subscription. Another reason to get ExpressVPN. Basically, whatever you do, you need a VPN here in China, it will be your best friend. I use a VPN more than any other app. If you want to find out my other used apps here in China, then check out my YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos because I've got loads of different tips and things about living here in China and city guides all on my YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay up to date. I'll see you next time.